Today we're going to talk about a Portuguese word that you should already be familiar with if you listen to Brazilian music regularly. Saudade. 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 Olá pessoal, welcome back. Today's video is all about the word saudade. We're going to see what it means, the verbs and prepositions to use with it, and lots of examples of sentence structures to use with this word. So let's start with the pronunciation of this word. The strongest syllable is the middle one, saudade, and the unstressed D and E at the end of words, like this one, will always have a G sound. So repeat after me. Saudade. So that's the pronunciation sorted. Let's have a look at its meaning. A lot of people like saying that the word saudade can't be translated into English. Now, as a translator myself, I don't agree with that. The word saudade is a noun, and to express that feeling of missing someone or something, in English we use a verb to miss. So, in a way, because saudade is a noun and to miss is a verb, there is no direct translation. However, there are actually nouns in English that express the same feeling. Words like yearning and longing, these are nouns. But the defenders of the word saudade will say that these words can't do the word saudade justice. They don't express the real meaning of the word saudade, which is this intense, indescribable feeling of yearning, of longing for something, this melancholic, very deep feeling. So before I get into trouble, let's move on and see how the word saudade is used in a sentence. It's often used with one of these two verbs, the verb ter, tenho saudade de você, and the verb estar followed by the preposition com, estou com saudade de você, or to sound more natural, to illustrate day-to-day -day colloquial speech, we can change that to just tô, tô com saudade de você. With the verb estar, there's a common variation of it, by adding the verb morrer, to die, straight after the verb estar, for emphasis. If you want to stress the fact that you really miss something or someone. Tô morrendo de saudade de você. So these are the main verbs that people tend to use with saudade, but sometimes you might hear people using the verb sentir, to feel. Sinto saudade de você. Another verb that is sometimes used with the word saudade is the verb bater, to hit. Hoje bateu saudade de você. So this gives an idea of being suddenly hit by the feeling of missing someone or something. Another common verb used with saudade is matar, to kill, when you're referring to putting an end to that saudade feeling. So, let's suppose that a Brazilian friend of mine here in London has just come back from a holiday in Brazil. I could say to them, Então, matou a saudade do Brasil? Literally, did you kill your saudade of Brazil? Have you put an end to that feeling of missing Brazil? The other important thing to notice here is the preposition that you need to add after saudade, when you specify what or who you miss the preposition G. And, as always, that preposition, when followed by a definite article or an indefinite article, it will merge with said article. Tô com saudade do Brasil. Tô com saudade da Inglaterra. Tô com saudade dos Estados Unidos. Now, let's see a couple of examples with indefinite articles. Tô com saudade de um bom churrasco. I miss a good barbecue. Tô com saudade de uma boa caipirinha. I miss a good caipirinha. Notice here that when the preposition G is followed by an indefinite article, they are not going to merge. But their sound are going to be quite close. It's going to be 
de um, de uma. So now that you know how to use the word saudade, I would like to hear from you. What or who do you currently miss? Make up a sentence using the word saudade and write it in the comments below and I'll give you some feedback on your written Brazilian Portuguese. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Muito obrigado. Até a próxima. Tchau.